Good afternoon. Hi, I'm, I'm Barry with Evoqua. I'm here at ADI Systems Office in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Thanks for taking time to watch our Innov Innovation Showcase. Today I'm going to talk about our anaerobic MBR installation at New Belgium Brewery in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, anaerobic digestion, I'm sure most of you are familiar with, is the process of using biology to convert waste organics into methane. It's nothing new in the brewing industry, but what we'd like to show you is how we've added membranes onto the back of that process to allow New Belgium to find uh, more value in some of the byproducts from the brewing process, improve their sustainability profile, and simplify their plant operations in the process. ADI is a global leader in development of this emerging technology. We now have 11 full-scale anaerobic MBR systems either uh, installed or under construction. This is our first uh, at a brewery, and this is the first operational anaerobic MBR at a brewery in North America. Okay, so beer, as we know, is made up of water and yeast with hops and grain added to feed the yeast and influence the flavor, flavor profile. Fermented, filtered, carbonated, basic process of making beer with a like fat tire. After making beer, brewers will typically try to remove those high strength solids from their wastewater process known as side streaming. Spent grains are first to go, easiest to separate. They're typically dried and sent to uh, a farmer as animal feed. There's also a sediment layer called trubs, consisting mainly of spent yeast and, um, and hops. That is not only harder to remove, but also it doesn't have a long of a shelf life, that long of a shelf life. So brewers are faced with a decision to pay to separate it or pay to send it down the drain. The truth is, either approach is perfectly fine in the beginning, but as production starts to increase, a couple of things start to happen. One, the process of separating it, storing it, and hauling it becomes a full-time job. And you need to coordinate with the farmers who can't always take it when you have to get rid of. Secondly, you're already sending a, a liquid waste stream to the city, and the surcharge associated with your soluble BOD can become an operating expense in and of itself, which prompts a brewery to start looking at their own pretreatment options. That's exactly where we started with New Belgium. So New Belgium, as we know, um, is an excellent corporate citizen um, they've already made or sustainability isn't just something they talk about. They've built it into the culture from the beginning. They've made investments in solar. They've made investments in waste diversion. They've invested in other um, efficiency initiatives. So they already knew that they wanted to use anaerobic digestion to, to take um, the waste material into methane. But what they've been able, to, what they've done differently by adding by choosing the anaerobic MBR process is that they've given themselves the ability to take that uh, sediment layer and put it into their digester. So the, the net effect of this technology choices is not only simplified operations upstream where they have more time to focus on making beer, but they also increase the organic loading to the digester, which allows them to make more biogas. It may seem counterintuitive to send more high strength material to your wastewater treatment plant, but the anaerobic MBR is designed to handle the increased solids. It uses the ultrafiltration membranes at the back of the process to separate them out, so there's no penalty to the effluent quality. Actually, at New Belgium, um, the anaerobic MBR is able to achieve 99% COD destruction. So the effluent coming out of that system is actually higher quality than they need for their discharge permit, meaning they don't pay any surcharges, and there's less energy required by the city to polish that effluent um, downstream. So we feel that's a good example uh, of a commitment to sustainability meeting an emerging technology. ADI was able to deliver this project on a design build basis and that helps New Belgium deliver on their commitment to people, planet and profit. ADI Evoqua is a, uh, a global leader in anaerobic digestion. We have over 40 years experience and over 300 installations around the world in the food and beverage, pulp and paper, chemical and pharmaceutical industries. We thank New Belgium um, for their partnership and their beer. If you have any questions about your own facility, please we encourage you to contact us for a free consultation. Thank you.